I'll look forward to it. Ooh, that was, that was heavier than I expected, honest. I, uh, I, I think I choked up a little bit. I was like, oh no, I'm so sad. You know, uh, I wasn't ready for that. It, was, oh, it hurt my heart a little bit. Um, I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki is about to come over, too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I spend only a few minutes back at the home anxiously waiting at uh, Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know that she's outside of the front door. Without delay, I open the front door to let her in. Ah, she's so cute. Sop. Hey! I don't know what I was expecting, but uh, seeing Natsuki in something other than a school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Jeez, don't make it feel so awkward already. It's gonna be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you'd be not be used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. Ah, I see you brought a lot of stuff. Uh, Natsuki is carrying a large bag that is probably full of baking supplies. Well, I don't want to come all this way to find out that you're ketchup as a equipped for the job. You bought everything? I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. God. Well, that I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that rather than something snarky like she usually does. Does this music sound like, um, I don't know, it gave me, a um, nope, never mind. For half a second, it reminded me of like some Legend of Zelda happy music. But then it changed to this, and now it's all cute and adorable again. <laughs> Anyways. Could it be that she's a little different outside of school after all? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. <laughs> what? You're not ever gonna offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality? Come on. Since when did I need to be a gentleman? I grab the bag. Uh, Natsuki holds out to me. Ugh. This is ridiculously heavy. <laughs> Mate, why does this get me every time? I swear, if that comes up and it says it's not Nate, I'll I'll have to apologize. Where's the notification? Where's the words that say it was Nate? Nate, admit to it. <laughs> what the heck? That one was a ghost. What the heck? Oh my god! That one was you? The other one was a real ghost. Uh-huh. I believe that. Ah ha 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 ha. I carried that all the way out. Are you impressed? You didn't do the first one? The heck? What the heck? That's so weird. Oh god, is there ghosts in this game? Oh, spooky. Oh, that's so spooky. I believe you! I just think that's spooky! Ugh. I see now. Yeah, I am impressed, Masuki. It seems like I always underestimate you. Ah ha ha. That's because I'm so small, isn't it? You shark. Masuki hits a fist into my chest. Hey! Your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Huh? Aw, uh, that's not like I heard it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. That's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. But, jeez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you can make me talk about what thanks just because we're not at school. Wow. That's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. Ha! Now that you are treating me like a little kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know. And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like you, 
Does that mean you should treat me like ah? Uh. <laughs> Natsuki catches her word, and her face turns red. Natsuki, we're gonna. I didn't say anything. I should apologize. Ah. Uh. I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have just been a little more considerate too. But also, if that's what you were thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys. <sighs> Why me? Why did I do this? Uh, how would you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. Gross. Hey! Is that to me? Who else? Man. Let's just get started already. Ha ha ha! You get all sour when a girl calls you gross. I finally found your weakness. She smiles deviously. It's gonna take you a long time to beat this game if you keep pausing to take a breath every time. Yeah, well, stop scaring me. <laughs> Please spare me. Well, if Natsuki decided, uh, decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now, finally starting to put, pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Is there a baking mini game? Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Nope, no baking mini game. Spoons, dirty bowls, flowers, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all of the batter at once, so we've had to, to do it several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Ella, why did you put the food coloring? The batter is growing in the oven soon. I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? The color the batter, of course. I'm making each tray a different color. The oven of the flavors are different. Everyone can still pick their favorite. Oh, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? The you want to? Uh, are you asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on. You're not putting any heart into this at all. Can you at least try to have fun? I'm I'm having I'm having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki is trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. Oh, that does look pretty cool. Sir? It's not like baking is just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth, worth it on the end if it just looking at it makes everyone's eyes light up. Like the ones you made the first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Sayori and Monica delighted expressions. I wonder if that if I can make Natsuki proud like that too. Yeah. Maybe I will use food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure your complexity finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. <laughs> yeah, it's getting there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Ah, huh? the icing's still all lumpy. Like me. Lumpy space, that's okay. Are you having chai? <laughs> well, yeah. It's just taking a little longer. Jez, I'll be all that I feel dull at like that. Her lump. Lumpy space Nasuki <laughs> grabs the whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You're all at it to bit the crap out of that. <laughs> After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. Sah? As of, oh, as of to emphasize, Lumpy Space Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it into her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Ha! Uh, Lumpy Space Natsuki sent... I just gotta start calling her LSN. 
Yeah, stop breathing. <laughs> uh, Asuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your cross fingers and my icing. Your icing, huh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back, trying to inch my finger towards the bowl. Don't make me bait that crap out of you next. I'd like to see you try. I push harder, just enough for my finger to reach the icing. Oh no. Did I click twice? Oh shoot. Is there a back? Go back. Ah shoot. I'm pretty sure I've got some icing and I licked it. Oh, right click makes the message go. Why would anyone make that a thing? That's weird. I triumphantly scoop some with my finger, just as Nasuki tugs with all her might. The force of Nasuki is pulling me Causes! Look, I- Look what you've done. Now you've messed- Yeah, now you've messed the things up. Now you've messed the things up. Look what you've done. I can't believe you've done this. The force of Nasuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble in return. Ross, you got it on my face. Whose fault is that? There's a big glob of icing on Natsuki's face. Where? She tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jazz. You know what? Take this. Nasuki instead wipes it off of her, uh, wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger toward my own face. You wish. I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Nasuki tries to uh, use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. Uh oh. Ah ha 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 stop. Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know. Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really should tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. Oh no. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Ladle! <laughs> ladle! My ladle is gone! It's the 18 plus! No! Elaza one ladle, 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 Elaza one ladle. Ah! Nasuki is so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Ah, you really shouldn't do that thing to girls unless you really like them. Saucy on your words. What kind of question is she asking me just like that? How did the mood turn this turn to this so quickly? How how do you not know? How do you not know? How do you not know? Bro, you like a finger of icing! It's saucy! <laughs> Don't do that! Unless unless you really like them. And they like you! The heck, man? How- what do you mean? How did this turn so quickly? How do you not know? I... She gazes at me in silence. I notice her swallow- her- her- sorry, swallow breaths? Her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Did she poison the icing? Ah... Uh... Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off. What? That's so random! Nasuki rushes over to the oven. Oh. We're baking. I forgot. <laughs> I 
Is something burning? I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <laughs> no wonder. You left a dirty tray in here, dummy. How could you make a steak like that? You should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jess. Nasuki uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the stove. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads, but the moment has already been lost. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcake trays into the oven. Then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. Ah, that smells good. The cupcakes are- wait, 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 I don't need to do that voice. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet-smelling warm air fills the room. Look how cute they all look. She proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They look even better once uh, we once we have the icing. But I you need to tell me that. I brought the decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have some, I have these nozzles that will make it look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. I probably won't even use this is at this time though. What's this one for? I pick one of the nozzles up just to make a thinner tip than the others. This one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you can also use it to write stuff on a cake. Like, happy birthday or whatever. Oh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Ah. Well, it's a literature event, right? We could make it more literature themed by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on the word they like. Ah. Hmm. I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid, but that's actually like a really cute idea, so... Uh -huh. Maybe I'm getting it from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not kill. Come on. We're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Wow. Asuki's voice trails off. I'm with you. Huh? Did you say something? No, I had nothing. I said nothing. <laughs> Let's just do the icing. My club. Nasuki picks up the pace and fastens the nozzle. Uh, fastens a nozzle onto each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think about before, Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing, and then we each get to work. When we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Oh, I wish I could have had one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but, like, my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. <laughs> there is the exact opposite in that regard. If she is here, she'd probably, like, we'd probably down ten cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway... I was hoping we would have time for some manga, but I need to get home for dinner. Oh, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like you always have this chance. Man. As usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sayori each carry some, then you can probably do it on one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. 
ha 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 she would listen to me the way she, she listens to you uh yeah i can think back to the conversation i had today earlier today I felt so hopeless helpless Terry always does listen to me but at that point it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all okay i'm all packed up good work today <laughs> You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. It feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? Bruh. Bruh. You did. And more. Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Aw. What you said before about not always having this chance, it always ha doesn't always have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be, like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere. Um, did you... Do you really may not? Natsuki looks at me tensely. She's trying to hide her expression. Yeah, I want to spend more time with you. Ella, I thought that you all like heard about getting this done. Oh, I'm sorry, I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I. I, I feel the same way as you, so. Whoa. She suddenly gets closer to me. Wait, Natsuki, standing inches from me, she looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch at the sides of my shirt as if holding on to me. Her rose-colored cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision along with her slightly parted lips. What is happening? My head starts to get dizzy as I feel her soft breaths against me. I've felt that for a while now. Uh, Natsuki suddenly jumps back. Say, say Ari? Huh? Uh, hi, uh... Siri! Uh, just now we were... <laughs> It's okay, Ella. Just stop by and say hi. Ah, uh, well, uh, you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so. Oh, uh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well, I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't you need cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off and Sayori waves goodbye. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. <laughs> well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was getting really, it was being really mean to me, and so I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Natsuki. And how close you got to her, it makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down her face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is sliding in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Sir, don't say that. It's true. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori. What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. 
caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it makes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel that pain anymore. <laughs> she looks away. I'm not a player. I'm just trying to make a depressed girl feel better. That's it. I'm not a player. I ain't playing. Just cause I, just cause I licked a girl's finger and I'm comforting another girl doesn't make me a player. Words I thought I'd never say. <laughs> I put a hand on her. <laughs> Letting your inner dog out. I'm scared, Ella. I'm really scared. What are you scared of? I'm scared that I might like you more than you like me. Sorry. It's true, isn't it? I was sick and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Uh, I like you so much that I want to die. Oh my gosh, that is, uh... That's intense. She just called me a finger licker. <laughs> Everyone calling me a player. Violet here took the extra step and called me what I really am. <laughs> a finger licker. <laughs> That's emotionally manipulative. I, I don't really have a choice in the words I say. Okay, to be fair, I don't have a choice in the words that I say. That's how I feel. And, and. That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her arm, her hand in my own. You remember how I said I always know what's best for you? you still believe me? Okay, now, okay, now I'm a player. Yeah, that's, that's an intimate touch I'm imagining. I, yep. That's, that's bad. She nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now, and that's what I'm going to give to you. <laughs> no, what do I choose? Do I friend zone her? Do I tell her I love her? Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Dearest friend? Do I friend zone her? God, I don't even know what I would do. You'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for things to be like how they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult things right now. Phoenix is like, boo! I'm trying to get with Lumpy Space, okay? I want that- those cupcakes, man. You really messed up, Ella. Weak! I want those Lumpy Space cupcakes! She made cupcakes, man! Y'all y'all would give up cupcakes. Who could you? <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Not you too. This girl would have eaten all your cupcakes. Yeah, she would have eaten the cupcakes. I want a woman that makes me cupcakes. <laughs> Nasally, I want my cupcake. God, now I want a cupcake. But... Please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll get things back to the way they were. I... I see. Sari forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. <laughs> this is what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest. I should write a poem about this. Oh no, Sayori. It's okay. This is just my punishment. Remember? Oh, God. For being so selfish. But please, 
You're so worried about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time that there's no happiness down that path. Yeah, she is very emotionally manipulative. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. The other thing. Now you're stabbed in the chest! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she's gonna stab one of the other girls. Oh, God. I thought she's gonna stab me. You're also right that I just wanted to go back to the Halos. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone else. I'll trust you in anything. 